who has been fighting their lone battle against sexual predators and those who believe in maligning women rather than blaming the boys. In January, it was Bengaluru. Yesterday, it was Kerala and then Chennai and now at a posh locality in Delhi. Sexual predators are on the loose. As proposed by the NDA Kathman, has the time arrived to expedite the process of maintaining a sexual offenders register to instill fear in the minds of the beasts? Well, USA, UK and Canada, all of them have done it. Then why is India not following suit? In our country, we use only women's security and women atrocity uh, as a tool to grab power. But when it comes to UP, the Prime Minister speaks volumes about rape and security of women there just to garner votes. As far as Nirbhaya Fund is concerned, even that lies unused. And the Supreme Court has rebuked Modi government for not using uh, Nirbhaya Fund to ensure security to women. That itself shows how insensitive we are to women issues and atrocity and rape issues. Delhi has been shamed yet again with another rape being reported. And this time, it's happened in the upmarket horse cars area at the deer park. A young girl, after spending some time in horse cars village, was trying to get a lift home when this unfortunate incident occurred. The deer park is right adjacent uh, to horse cars village, right across the road. It's an isolated spot and uh, spans a couple of acres. It's closed in the evenings and uh, after sunset, in fact, uh, people are not allowed access to the deer park area. The police, on the other hand, they say that the suspect as of now is still absconding. They've released a rough sketch. Uh, an FIR has been filed. They say that they're analyzing CCTV footage. And the police say that as of now, they've not managed to find uh, CCTV footage of the suspect. And they only have uh, footage of the suspect's friend. This reminds us of Nirbhaya, you know, when there was uh, a complete storm all over the country about the question of safety of women and girls. Uh, thereafter, we have seen several such rape cases happening in and around Delhi. And I think uh, the governments, all the governments and all the relevant people uh, must uh, have a very serious uh, relook at the whole situation and enhance the security measures uh, uh, as far as protection of women is concerned. And also, uh, law must come heavily on those who dare to commit such offences footage of the suspect's friend. Meanwhile, what's interesting to note is that right in this area, there is a police picket. In fact, an unmanned police picket. We've been here for uh, the past couple of hours and there's been no one in this area. You can see uh, the chair is empty and this is all just a few hours after this rape has been reported. It's extremely shocking that despite an incident of this nature being reported, this police picket is still unmanned, raising very serious questions about the way the police functions in the city. With video journalist Ajay, this is Banna Sebastian for NewsX in New Delhi. The abduction and molestation of a popular Malayalam actor in Kochi has sent shockwave across the country. The entire film fraternity has come out in support of the actor and are showing solidarity with her. Meanwhile, the police have arrested three out of seven accused and are on lookout for the others. Initial investigation has revealed that the gang had planned to abduct the actress and extort rupees 30 lakh from her. Investigation also revealed that the main accused, Sunil Kumar, has several criminal cases against him and he was the former driver of this actor. In Chennai, with video journalist Val Subramaniam, Lokpriya, NewsX. which is now encompassing women, children, animals, political workers who are also being killed. It's an extremely weak government and it's being run by people who don't listen to the chief minister, don't listen to any rules. Every minister talks on his own. I mean, it just doesn't seem to have any government at all. I think the whole government has failed. It's not just the chief minister. You have a government who does not allow the police to function. And you have a government which is at odds with himself. Every party is speaking, every minister is speaking. CM says something, some minister says something. It's just no bureaucrats are working there. There has to be a probe as to who all were involved, who are behind the, uh, these uh, goons. There has to be a uh, probe 
and whosoever is guilty, whether he is a mighty person or whether he is a commoner or anyone for that matter, any criminal who is involved in this should not be spared. What we demand, the uh, National Federation of Indian Women, my organization demanding everyone, whoever may be involved directly or indirectly involved in this particular case, if they all should be brought uh, uh, under particular case, if they all should be brought uh, uh, under the law of the land, they all should be booked and uh, uh, there is no time to waste. So government should uh, see to it that without wasting any time, that is what we have seen everywhere, the, the, uh, 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 the enquiry agencies will uh, 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 lose time. So that will delay the process of justice. This news of uh, rape, of abduction and rape of a Malayali uh, actress uh, has shaken the <coughs> conscience of uh, people not just in Kerala but all over the country. This is being discussed and uh, unfortunately the uh, police have not been successful in nabbing each and every offender even if uh, sufficient time has now elapsed. I think DGP certainly is answerable to the people as also to the victims. Uh, that uh, they would take, uh, they would spare no efforts to ensure that the offenders are brought to books. I think the Kerala incident is really shocking. Um, uh, a lady actress, a film actress being harassed in this manner by people who have had a record of uh, staging similar uh, uh, attacks on women in the past. I think the, uh, the local police actually must hang its head in shame because five years ago, a producer says that he, his wife had a similar harrowing experience and it seems that this was not taken note of, no action was taken. Only people who get away with such acts of uh, criminality dare to indulge in such acts repeatedly. The Kerala government, particularly of uh, Pinarayi Vijayan, has been completely lax in law and order issues one is actress or uh, ordinary woman, uh, it is the responsibility of the state government uh, to protect them under any circumstances. If any, we are in any part of our country, any incident like this uh, happens, then it is unfortunate and those who are responsible should be immediate arrested and should be punished. Well, this, remember, is News X's continued campaign. Well, with that, we're going to be slipping into a short break. Don't go anywhere.